Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get it popping, man. Javante Tank Davis, Vasil Lomachenko. This looks like a fight that a lot of people really want to see. I want to see it too. But there's a couple people holding this fight up. And that's Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Javante Tank Davis. See, it's funny to me that every time I go to Twitter, I see Javante getting into it with a, a, a prospect with Golden Boy or Tevin Farmer, or one of them other light dudes at 130 that ain't really that tough. Most notably, the Japanese guy, Ogawa, right? So, Lomachenko, he tweets at Floyd Mayweather. He's like, he got respect for Floyd. He wish he could have fought him in his prime. But he says, stop. Stop hiding Javante Tank Davis from me, basically, is what he said. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Now, Last weekend, I witnessed Vasil Lomachenko make Guillermo Rigondeaux quit. Something that Rigondeaux said he would never do. Quit. He gave up. Said he had a hand injury, which ended up being a contusion, nothing but a bruise. But this seems to be a common thing amongst a lot of his opponents. We're just going to bring up Nicholas Walters as well because he quit too. You know? So, what happens when Javante Tank Davis fights Vasil Lomachenko? That's if they ever fight because we know there's politics. We know Floyd doesn't work very well with Bob Arum, right? And he's seemingly been keeping Javante Tank Davis away from major threats like that, right? Otherwise, maybe they would have tried to match him up. I mean, honestly, if Tank really thought he could beat Lomachenko, he would have been talking about him. He would have been called him out. We've seen interviews. Go back. Search Tank's name. You'll find some interviews where he's asked about Lomachenko. And he basically says, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. But normally he's like, I don't really need Lomachenko. Lomachenko's, what, 30? You know, he needs me. I'm I'm a young guy. I don't have to I don't have to fight him now. That's basically what he said. This is when he was a title holder. And we want we want divisions unified, right? So, why weren't we pushing for this fight? It's funny we push for it now. Tank don't got a belt. Um, who's the bigger name? Tank or Lomachenko? Who brings more money to the table? Probably Tank. But Floyd's not going to match Tank up against Lomachenko. It's, that's too much trouble for him, man. Tank isn't mentally prepared for a fight with Vasil Lomachenko. And if they fought, I would pick Lomachenko to beat Tank. And I like Tank Davis. I'm a fan. But I don't see him being able to beat Lomachenko. All right? I don't see Tank quitting in a fight with Lomachenko. However... I do see Tank getting extremely frustrated. And you know what? They ever fight? This is what my prediction is going to be. All right? He's not going to be able to hit Lomachenko. He's going to have too many problems. He's going to become frustrated in the ring. And he's going to resort to fouling. He's going to get himself disqualified. That's what I predict. And I'm, I'm doing pretty good with my predictions. Because I predicted Regendahl would quit. I told y'all he would quit. And he did. Take my take my advice on this one. Javante Tank Davis loses to Vasil Lomachenko if they fight at 130. And he gets himself disqualified. As I said, mentally he's not all there. He's not all there, man. So, we can push for this fight to happen. I mean, if that's what y'all want, I'm cool with that. I'd like to see it. I just... I think it's going to be something very difficult to make because this is Floyd's quote-unquote cash cow, right? This is his fighter who he needs to continue to market. He needs his fighter to continue to win, and Lomachenko stands in the way of that. It's cool for him to call out Tevin Farmer, Ogawa, Billy Dibb. These are all fighters that we know he beats. These are all fighters he knows he beats, right? But he never mentions Lomachenko. Even on Twitter. I just checked Twitter before I came on here to make this video. No mention of Lomachenko. Ever. No, never tweets directly at him. Never even subtweets him. The last subtweet I saw was, y'all need to get off his nuts. That's the last subtweet I heard. Or saw, rather. I mean, I don't know. Y'all let me know who you think wins between Tank and 
Lomachenko. I don't know. I could be wrong. It could it could end up being a good fight. I mean, Tank got some really good hand speed. He's quick. He, he's a hard puncher. Definitely hits harder than Lomachenko. But the thing is, you got to hit Lomachenko, man. His footwork is just unmatched at 130, man. I don't... I just don't see nobody beating Lomachenko at 130, man. I just don't. I would pick him to beat Mikey Garcia. You know? I mean, we'll see if he really dares to be great and goes up to 140, 147. I mean, Pacquiao did it, right? He's bigger than Pacquiao, right? I'm just saying. I don't know where Lomachenko's going to go. But right now, what he's doing is pretty incredible. But, I mean, I'm not trying to downplay him or nothing, man. I'm just... I'm just saying, you know, I'm sure there's other fighters that could have accomplished what he accomplished had they been given the opportunity, but that's that's irrelevant, I guess. We're talking about Tank and Lomachenko, Nomashenko. I think he look he makes Tank look silly, man. And Tank don't want that work, man. He don't want to fight Lomachenko. Simple as that. I mean, y'all let me know how he wins, man, but y'all was telling me how Rigo was going to win. Y'all was We was all talking about how... Nicholas Walter is going to win. Like, come on. That's all I want to know. I just want to know how he's going to win. And you can't tell me he's not ducking because he has no problem calling anybody else out. Just check, check his Twitter. He not talking about Lomachenko. He don't want no smoke. And I know Floyd watched Lomachenko. He already know what time it is. He already know what it is. He don't, will never match Tank up with him. But again, you know, we, we, we're the ones who really got the power. If we continue to say Tank is ducking Lomachenko, that puts pressure on him. And it makes that fight a possibility, right? We're the ones with the power. I don't know. You let me know. My my Tank videos seem to do pretty well, man. I'll push for the fight. I'll definitely push for the fight. So in closing, Javante Tank Davis is ducking Vasil Lomachenko. Floyd Mayweather recognize Lomachenko. He knows what time it is, too. And he's not trying to cash Tank out this early. He got plans for Tank. That's what I think. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the real plan is for Tank because it seems like he's just fighting random dudes. Like, he's just fighting random fighters. They chose the IBF, right? They, ch they chose to go with the IBF. We know the IBF's mandatories tend to be on the weaker side, right? We know their rankings tend to be some of the worst amongst all the sanctioned bodies, right? So is that why they chose to go after the IBF title? Floyd said he wasn't looking to have this dude unify with any of the other champions, right? So what's the end game? What's what? I mean, what is this it's about the money? I don't know, man. Tank just doesn't have the work ethic, man. I like dude, but you know when he's got an opponent that he know he's he can just run through. He's gonna do just that. He's going to showboat, but aside from Jose Pedraza, I mean, I can't think of another step-up fight he's had, but he's about due for a step-up fight, to be honest. You know, he can go get his, his um, IBF belt from Ogawa in Japan, knock that dude out, but, I mean, we want to see unifications, bro. We want to see Lomachenko versus Tank 2018. Hit my box and drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like
like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free From the army of clouds I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds